Right, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to Thai Talk with Dan. Now recently we've spoken about a few hard to speak about subjects and it's got a bit crazy within the comments section so I thought I would change the subject about what we're talking about on this channel. Today we have a subscriber that has been in a relationship and married for the past 15 years. He wants to share how he found a good Thai woman, but he also wants to share how you guys can find a good one too. So stay tuned and let's hear what this subscriber has to say. Hi Dan, I enjoy your channel. I have been married to my Thai wife for over 15 years. We met when I was bartending at a Thai restaurant in a major city in the US. She was a foreign exchange student working on her master's degree at the time. Now we have had our ups and downs, but our relationship is stable. She comes from an upper middle class family and I did not have to buy a house for them. The dowry was small. Her father even pitched in for the ceremony and we just recently moved to Thailand. Now she is more thrifty than I am, so things are working out very well and I am able to save more working remotely on a part-time basis than working full-time in the US. Thai, Filipina ladies going to college in a Western countries come from middle to upper class families but are still pretty traditional women compared to the modern women of the West. Perhaps the best option for men in their 20s to 30s that want a traditional Thai woman that will not fleece them is to put themselves in situations where they can meet these high quality ladies without even leaving their western countries. I even recall one of your videos where you wonder why men are leaving their countries and seeking Thai or other women instead of women in their own countries. The reason is simply that modern men are fed up with the modern women of the west. Now you will better understand them if you listen to men's experiences with modern women explaining why they are becoming part of the MGTOW or Passport Bros movements. No fault divorces, freedom to be promiscuous, online dating, social media and family courts skewed to favour women has created a hostile environment for men to get married, have children and build a life with a modern woman without it ending in divorce, heartbreak and financial destruction. The modern woman has thousands of attractive men contacting her through social media and dating websites pumping up her sense of self-worth to completely unrealistic levels leading her to ignore good men at her level and chase the handsome bad boys and f boys that just want to get her in the sack. Now when she is done having fun with these f boys in her 30s and her biological clock is counting down to zero then she will seek out a good man with a laundry list of demands for most being financial stability to settle down with and have kids and 50-50 chance of filing for divorce many years later to find herself aka hook up with other guys and leaving her ex-husband broken in many different ways. I have never experienced this but it is a common story I have heard often and I feel very bad for these men. This is the modern age we live in in the West and I do not see this changing 
anytime soon. Any men living in the West may be your best shot to find a high quality Thai lady is to stay in your own country and get to know one of these nice college girls on foreign exchange. They are easy to find in Thai restaurants. Their families are financially well off and will likely not demand much from you financially if their daughter is in love with you. Now, unfortunately, I do not think they will be interested in older men, but there are still Thai ladies in their forties overstaying their visas that work in these restaurants illegally. However, keep in mind, the longer these Thai ladies live in the West, the more likely they will turn into modern women. And that is the problem for us men. Anyways, Dan, hit me up if you're ever in Wahin. Now, do you agree with this subscriber? Is this how it is in the West? Let us know down in the comments below. And has anybody else had experience about meeting a Thai woman in their own country? Let us know down in the comments or feel free to send an email and share your story on the channel. Send your emails to thaitalkwithdan at gmail.com. Also, if you have managed to find a good Thai woman in the last five to 10 years here in Thailand, I'm sure people would love to know how you did it. Please share your comments down below. Apart from that, guys, I'm going to get ready now to go and pick up my son from school. Hope everybody is safe and well as always. Take it easy out there and ciao for now. Bye bye.